looking for buyers maybe to support it here, okay, around 742. They are. They're in the book here at least. Uh, and then let's see if they, uh, they come in on the buy side. Okay, nice clusters of buying up here. So uh, uh, looking for uh, exhaustion on the sell side and looking for maybe a, a move back up. Okay, let's just zoom in a little bit. Okay, we're coming right to 742. Let's see if they, uh, let's see if we transact into 742. Just 1,840 contracts there. And now looking for the aggressive buyers to start to come in. And let's see if we can get them up here around 745 and then looking for uh, our move into to 744, I'm sorry. Then, yeah, I'd be looking for the 745 and then 750. Yeah, here they come. This is what we're looking for, right? And looking for them to break it on this on this uh, little move here, okay? So let's see if they can, uh, I, I, you know, we've come down, we've tested it again. Um, you know, I'm looking for buyers here. We, we should get it and we should get the move up into 45. And let's just zoom vertically here a little bit more. Yeah, and then I'm looking for a bigger move up into 50, basically. Okay, so starting to unfold. Okay. And then uh, let's see. We got it. We got to see the buyers on above or at this area right now. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to get another rotation. Okay. And we could even go back down to 40. But it's looking pretty good on the buy side here. So looking for the pop up into into 750. Okay. We'll come back and we'll revisit this one. But it's looking good so far. Uh, this is the anticipated uh, move to the upside here. All right. Um, so there's your equities, and that's the difference between the equities okay, and the futures, and, and we'll go into cryptocurrencies and take a look as well. Okay, but uh, ni nice stuff here in the equities. I, I like looking at the equities quite a bit. Um, just, uh, yeah, nice, nice clarity in terms of larger players here. Almost up to 50, still looking good, still looking for buyers here. Um, if we get a pullback, Okay, we'd be looking for, well, we're just about to the, the area of pullback, and that'd be 45 right here. Still still looking for the, the move here. Here we go. This We should get the move. Not only, I, I think we can even break through 750 here, uh, probably come up to 755 here. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's see here. It's because it's been rotating back and forth here, but you see there's still buying interest here. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, looking looking for them uh, to trade into and through this here, uh, and we should get it on this this rotation, I imagine. There we go. Okay, so let's see 755. Uh, strong volume here, guys. So uh, uh, that might have been just initial stops being popped here, but uh, still looking for strong volume to, to reach 755 here, the next level of liquidity. Okay, glad I caught that last minute there. Um, you can see, I mean, the S&P, all markets do this, uh, especially that S&P. We were looking for 750 earlier. It rotated back and forth here, rotated back and forth here. But we knew that there was support down here at 45. We knew the sellers didn't come down and test it, only here, and they stayed in the book and transacted. Okay? And then we rotate back up, and we're looking for those buyers and looking for 750 and through it. Okay, So just you know, after these rotations, looking for those buyers to really ramp it up, and they are. Okay? So we're looking for seven, 755 now. How do you place trades on the chart? Okay. Um, yeah, like um, uh, with uh, the one-click trading, uh, you know, you, you open up the trade control panel. Uh, you can trade from the chart, from the dome, or both. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the dome, Okay, I'm going to show you that. Uh, well, I'm, going to, I'm just going to point you to a lot of videos here, I think, um, and um, and how to get there. Okay, well, go to Help Bookmap Portal. Okay, that'll open the portal here. All right now, you can also just go to our YouTube page directly, but. Um, uh, then once you log into the portal here, you don't need to log into to get to where what or access what I want to show you here but when you log in you get access to the educational course here uh, as well as uh, when you click on the register to webinars you build a register to the uh, uh, the proper webinars 
okay, like the advanced webinars, etc. Okay, if you if you're just a, a guest, uh, you will still get access to this these uh, playlists here. So this is the one to go to: features and components. Okay, click on that, uh, and that's going to take you to uh, features and components playlist. And scroll down here, and then the bookmap one-click trading is videos number 23 and 24. Okay, and this will go through all the details on how you place trades okay uh, within bookmap uh, so uh, yeah I, I, we're, we've been going for about an hour now I, I don't want to demo trades at the moment uh, it's just gonna you know take another 10 minutes here uh, so uh, let, I'll just refer you guys to these two um, these videos here it is a really powerful tool I, I like it very very much uh, I use it all the time uh, in bookmap um, you set bracketed orders here. I'll just I'll demo it quickly here. Uh, so let's say you know my strategies like we're, we were bullish here. Well, I missed the the bullish move, right? I would have bought I would have bought as market buy order and, and looking for, for that carry through. Now I'm looking for a pullback basically though. Okay, and well here I'll just set a limit a limit buy down here. Okay, right. So I'm looking for that pullback here. You can see it's all it's already pulled back to this area here. So we, I might have just missed it, and maybe we'll even get the breakout into 56 and, and 58 up here. Um, but uh, it's already traded into 55. That was our initial uh, target. Okay. So now I have to either look for pullbacks or look for another breakout. Uh, and uh, I'm willing to be a buyer down here with 100 shares. Okay. And here's my reasoning. Right. I'm kind of in front of the 750 where we broke from and this volume cluster here. Right, and that's what I'm willing to risk, okay, on this trade. All right. Now, if you um, if you wanted to, I I, I will demo the because uh, it's just so powerful. I'll demo it. Um, let's just see. I'll probably get filled here. Come on, fill me. Okay. All right. So just got filled. Where where are my? Oh shoot. Okay, I just lost really quickly. Um. Okay. So. Here's why, because I had six cents on my take profit and stop loss. Yikes. Okay, I, newer versions of Bookmap, you're going to be able to, you know, have um, higher take profits and stop loss for your stocks here. Okay, but, uh, let's try that again here. Ah, flatten that again. Um, Let's try that one more time. There we go. Okay, 100 shares, 100 shares, and then I can left-click, hold, and drag this up and drag this back down. Okay, so there there, there, there I go. That's what I'm looking for um, is front-running high liquidity up here, okay, uh, at, uh, at seven, uh, seven, six, 760. And then, uh, you know, let's say um, – now I got it here kind of late, right? Um, but um, the breakout still looks pretty good. So still looking for it, pretty high volume here, right? So looking for it to continue. Uh, and then now what I'm going to do though is I'm going to, um, uh, I don't want to risk too much here, so I'm going to move my stop to break even right here. Left click, hold and drag. Okay, beautiful stuff here. I, I really, really like this uh, one click trading. Uh, and let's let's cover why. First off, I can react to what's here in front in the heat map. Okay, this is fantastic. Right, I I I know exactly what where the liquidity is. I know what my strategies are here. Uh, I've already reduced my risk as well. I'm at break even. Okay. Now I'm watching. You know, I I may move my stop up or even my my take profit down if I see something in the order flow here. But so far so good. Okay. And that's what I'm looking for. Um. The uh, uh, the the thing that I like so much is not be not only being able to react very very quickly here uh, to uh, order flow and then being able to front run high liquidity or hide stops behind high liquidity etc. Uh, but I'm also able to go and this is probably the most important uh, aspect is look how everything is um, recorded here. Okay, I can't escape it. Like these were my actions, right? Uh, I had my stop down here. Uh, I moved it up and, and to break even, okay? Well, let's say I get stopped out of break even here, right? If I get stopped out of break even, what did I do wrong? Or, you know, I can go back and debrief my trading, okay? And know uh, precisely because it's all recorded here, right? 
you know so uh, you, you you can't escape it right so uh, uh, yeah here we go and the just about to get filled here it looks like looks like it's coming probably try to es escape me so I'm gonna move it down here because I there we go okay so I'm, I'm filled right well th that was my trade decision right and I've seen this you know you, you see it a hundred times like I I've, I was maybe a little too uh, greedy here in, in this one right like maybe you see this little liquidity here at 59 well I should have front ran that right and I mean you'd still may come up to 60 70 you know 80 who knows right but I'm looking for it to come up into 60 that was my move okay and I was front running it here well now I can optimize that though uh, I, I've got the information in front of me Okay, I, I can move my see see how I was maybe a little too greedy here, or moved it up a little too much and and, and didn't front run this liquidity here. That's what I wanted. I should have done. Um, and um, uh, instead, um, I, I chased after it here, and then I got filled at this point here. Okay, and you can see the the bracketed order. It, then it as soon as that one gets filled here, it, it cancels my uh, my buy or my sell stop down here. Okay, and then I'm out. I'm done, uh, and that's that. Uh, so, uh, uh, but all my recording uh, uh, and activity here is on the chart. This is such a good way to debrief, debrief right? So I'm I learned just from from that. Well, I should have probably looked into this and, and came in a little bit closer here and optimized this a little bit better. Okay, or what if I got stopped out immediately, really quickly here? and this happens to me all the time this is something that i i continue to kind of struggle with is i move up my stops too aggressively right i'm looking for the move to happen quickly but a lot of times you know i got a good entry and i move my stop up too quickly and i get stopped out okay now i didn't lose anything right because i was at break even uh but the the move ended up you know going to the upside here so how do i overcome that well don't move my stop up too quickly is one way Another way is come in with multiple contracts or, you know, multiple, uh, maybe 200 shares or 50 shares and 50 shares. Okay? And then I could, I could take partial profit up here. Then I could truly move my stop way down here and it would still be break even okay, on the overall 100 shares. Okay, it would take a loss on 50, but a gain on 50, right? And I would still be at break even. That, that's why we, we cover trading strategies, but we don't go into too much detail because that's not reading the order flow here. Right, you know, there's tons of information out there on uh, on strategy. Okay, so uh, uh, you know, and you can apply all sorts of different strategies within the order flow here. And I just covered about three or four of them. All right. Uh, let's see here, uh, Jerry. So where's my profit displayed? Yeah, it's this here. So the 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 beige line and triangle. That's where I got filled. Okay, and the uh, purple uh, is is uh, stops okay so the beige is by the uh, purple is uh, stops all right guys so we're over our hour um, period here uh, we'll, let's call it a week uh, thanks for coming everybody and uh, we will catch up with you on Monday okay all right take care bye bye